Welcome to the review of Unit 10, McPlant. And so, to give you a quick summary of what we talked about earlier, is uh, McDonald's is, is partnering with the company Beyond Meat mm -hmm. to roll out uh, in 2021 their new plant-based uh, food menu. And whether that includes like plant-based meat substitute burgers and patties or more vegetarian options, uh, they didn't quite say, but they're you know, planning on partnering with this company. And so this is done because Beyond Meat has lost a lot of uh, their clients or other companies they partnered with because of a lot of you know, restaurants mm -hmm. going out of business or struggling during this pandemic. So they've had to halt, halt a lot of things. Mm. And so um, they're really hoping that this can do very well um, in McDonald's and especially since in Asia, uh, you know, this delivery is such a huge part of the business. Mm. Um, in, in America, there's more foot traffic uh, through the stores. And so Beyond Meat is, is feeling very optimistic about this. And, you know, they hope that this can get them back on track to in increasing their revenue and growing the company. But, you know, they should be careful that they don't count their chickens before they're hatched. Get back on track. Get back on track. Count one's chickens before they're hatched. Count one's chickens before they're hatched. Do you think that the trend towards eating more plant-based, more vegetarian diets will continue or will it, you know, die out or lose popularity? Oh no, I think it's going to continue definitely. People are really becoming more health aware mm -hmm. and as I mentioned earlier, people are thinking more of the ethical aspects of eating yeah. meat. I myself love animals, so I often feel quite guilty, but I'm not going to go that far. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. no, I think it's going to become more and more and more popular, mm -hmm. let's say, in the future. Yes. Yeah. I think it will slowly grow as well. Yes. Um, I don't think it'll die out anytime soon because kind of the whole foods organic yeah. trend has been very steady. Yes. Um, and I think that will only continue the more we think about just how what we're consuming, how much we're consuming right. of it, and we might want to eat more plants in a, in a way that tastes like meat. Right. And there's a, I may have wanted to mention an environmental factor too. Oh yeah. There are specific diets that are better for the environment mm -hmm. and let's say even the ozone layer, which yeah. does not include meat, unfortunately. So right. people are thinking of that also. In your opinion, should children be allowed to eat fast food? I think in moderation. Mm -hmm. um, if you keep them from eating anything ever, they might go crazy one day. <laughs> yeah. Eat all of it all the time. Yes. So I think if you allow them, let's say maybe every two weeks, everyone can have a nice cheat meal, mm -hmm. something nice. Then it's okay because they can try it. It's not kept, you know, they're not kept away from it, and it's yeah. not this special thing. It should be considered. Yeah, it's food. It's okay. Other food is nicer, that type right. of thing, yes. Yeah, I absolutely agree with that. Uh, very similar to what my parents did. Right. We weren't allowed McDonald's more than once a week. Right. It, it wasn't as special as in like a delicacy, we wanted it, but it was more of a health conscious thing yeah. and in moderation. Right, yeah. right. Everything in moderation. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well that's it for the review section and we'll see you on the next one.